Hi, and welcome to the Mind, Body, and Soul of Flamenco workshop. We are on day three, and this is the place to be if you want to dance flamenco with passion, confidence, and expression. Ole! I'm Rena Oriana, and I've been dancing flamenco for over 25 years, and I've taught uh, flamenco for 15 years in my dance studio in Los Angeles, and I've been teaching online to women all around the world for the last five years. Today's video, we're on number three, we will step into the soul of flamenco. But if you missed the first two, please, please go back and watch them because I really want you to get the most out of this workshop and you really need to have those first two videos before you move on to this one. So go check them out. All right, I taught you about the one fundamental piece of flamenco, which is the compas, the heartbeat of flamenco. And then I taught you on how you want to feel while you're dancing. And that really is determined by the palo that you are dancing to. And yesterday we did alegrias and solea por buleria. So you may understand the compas and you may understand the feeling, the palos. You might have uh, a lot of technique under your belt and you might understand the structure of flamenco, but without this one thing, you are going to always dance flat <laughs> and inhibited. And you'll see videos uh, looking that way. So in this next video, I'm going to show you or help you to have that courage to stand up and be seen. Because with that one element, that is where all the magic happens. And so you can still be a new beginner and have this one element in you and be amazing. Or if you are more advanced, you have this one element, and that is when the real, real magic happens, where you feel that duende, that catharsis, that explosion of expression where everything just kind of locks into place. And with this, you need to have that belief to allow yourself to go through this flamenco journey, because we all want to do, we all want to dance amazing like yesterday. <laughs> But, the, but flamenco is a journey. It is a process. And so you have to first have the belief that you can do it because you can. And you want to have uh, the belief and the courage that you deserve to do it, that you deserve to take the time to do it. And also you want to have that belief that it's okay that you started as an adult or that you didn't grow up in Spain or that you have been dancing all these years and you feel you don't have anything to show for it, that is okay. It's okay. It's okay. Now, please join me now in my dance studio where I'm going to show you one ex exercise that's very empowering. Another exercise that's going to be all about connecting. And then we're going to apply that to the rhythm of solea, which is very profound. And it's, it's, it's the most somber and intense rhythm in flamenco. Um, and we're going to work on our upper body. And with that upper body comes more expression. And we'll be grounding and um, lifting ourselves at the same time. So let's go dance together. So two things I want to show you before we actually start working on upper body and solea which also helps with all the whole idea of being courageous and, and, and allowing ourselves to step up and be seen. So one thing I do uh, before I perform is, um, I, you know, usually when I'm performing, I've been sitting around a lot, just playing palmas for um, all the other dancers. And then when it's my turn, it's like, oh my gosh, I gotta get up, I gotta get ready. I gotta get, I gotta get in that zone. And if I have the opportunity to go backstage, then I can do this. Um, if, I, if I can't go backstage, then I do this exercise that I'm about to show you as I'm walking out. And what that is, and bear with me if it sounds a little goofy and, and a little boo-boo, but <laughs> it works, is that as I'm standing there, I get grounded. I imagine my roots going deep, 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 deep down into the ground, and then I draw up that Earth's energy, have it cycle through my body, and then I imagine that all this energy coming out from the top of my head, and then I can just cycle it back down. So I go, I feel, then I feel all this energy going up and down, up and down, and then 
boom, I'm ready to dance. I'm ready to perform. <laughs> Another thing I do is I tell all my students is that while you're dancing in front of a mirror, first connect with yourself. And, and I, I save this for last. <laughs> it could have been the first thing, but I save it for last because you kind of see how, um, how flamenco works, basically. Like, right, you have the heartbeat of the compas, and then um, you have the feeling um, that you want to feel, but then you really want to have that connection. And that connection first comes from looking at yourself in the mirror, making that eye contact with yourself, as you begin. So what we're going to do um, when we start off with the solea is we're going to start off with that quick rooting energy, eye connection, and then we'll be able to, to work that upper body. Now, while we're working that, that upper body, you know, it's still all about that idea of being, of stepping up and being seen, right? Um, because you can't, you can learn all the moves, but if you don't allow yourself to let go, then, you know, it looks very inhibited. So this, you know, solea is so grounding. It's so um, essential. It's so, I wouldn't, I say it's somber, but it's so profound. That's the word. It's so profound. So um, for you new beginners, <laughs> you're going to just work on connecting with that, with the singing. And we're going to work on that upper body. Now, if you're, again, new, you have the hands, they go in and out, and in and out, all right? But if that's a little too much to coordinate, then just focus on that arm position, because the idea is that we're engaging that core, engaging that upper back as well, opening up the chest, and our arms are going to stay rounded, rounded as we go through the various arm positions. So we're not going to be moving around with our feet. We're going to just stay firmly planted and really focus on different arm placements um, and hand movements, okay? So again, if you're a new beginner, maybe just focus on the arms or maybe just stand there and work, um, and work your hands. Um, but the idea is that while you're doing this, that you are allowing yourself to you know make mistakes because <laughs> we're all going to be making mistakes you allow yourself to make mistakes and you allow yourself to um to honor your commitment to yourself to your own passions which is flamenco really <laughs> all right so let's do it okay first eye contact ole. and now being rooted feeling that energy going down 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 Bringing that energy up, 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 and then bring that energy down, circle it around, ole, and get ready, chest open, back engaged, abs in, ole, okay, here we go, and in, and out, and you're strong. And then back down. Eleven, twelve, and two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and two, three, four, five, six. So push, 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 push. Ay, ay, ay. Up, so really engage. Open up the chest. Yeah. And down. Okay, we're going to stay down here. One foot in front. Hands. Down, 9, 10, and 12, and we'll go 
Buen Me está pasando lo que a mí me está pasando. Se lo voy a contar la tierra. Cuando me tenéis cerrando a se lo voy a contar la tierra. Cuando me tenéis cerrando a Get a me my and push, 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 push. Get a mi madre, tan buena, yeah, a mi madre, tan buena, que lo malo, yo bueno, ay, contaba, va a perder, and down the other side. Que lo malo, yo bueno, ay, contaba, va a ver que no, tú
So I hope you enjoyed um, that exercise in Sulea with the upper body. I feel, hope you feel grounded from that grounding exercise, and I hope you feel connected and empowered by that staring exercise. Um, but I hear um, from a lot of people wondering, like, am I too old to start flamenco? Should I have started when I was a, a, a wee child? <laughs> no, because with flamenco, uh, it's a process, it's a journey, and it's, it's a passion project. So who are you to deny your own personal passions, right? And also, if you've been dancing for many, many, many years, and you feel you haven't gotten anywhere, you still have the chance to, to learn those nuances and incorporate them into your own practice. So it's been awesome uh, sharing all this information um, to you and reading all of those aha moments um, online. I've been, I really appreciate you sharing those with me. And uh, now you might be wondering, well, what comes next? Well, I can help you with that with the Online Flamenco Studio, which is my online membership lesson site with many, 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 many courses to help you dance with passion and confidence. So if you're interested in learning more about this, I will have more information coming up very soon. But you should know that you can dance flamenco with passion and confidence. And it's just not learning a bunch of steps and techniques. You, and, and there is the compas, the heartbeat. There is the feeling that you get in touch with. And then there is that that courage that you must have to stand up and be seen. So I hope I can help you with that inside my online Flamenco Studio, and you'll be receiving information very, very, very soon about that. But I really want to thank you so much for joining me for these um, past three videos. I really hope you got a lot, a lot out of it, and I would love to hear from you once again on what your favorite parts of the videos were, any aha moments you've uh, had, and um, any other thoughts you'd like to share. So be sure to um, join me in the Facebook group and let me know, or tag me over on Instagram at uh, Flamenco Rena Orellana. All right, thank you so much. Bye.